what is going on everybody so it's a little bit dark out still but arrived at the local lake it's a little bit snowier than last time i was here uh, last week so waiting on a couple friends to arrive and we're gonna go after some lake trout some salmon and some brookies and possibly white catfish so some of you might know where the lake is just with that alone uh some of you um probably have no idea where i'm at but it's a lake close to home it's been on the channel for quite a few videos and we're gonna start fishing it uh, here shortly and yeah get into some good fish so last week i got into my pb out here when it was not really ideal ice it was only like three and a half inches so i'll pull that up right here right as i get my probably one of my biggest toe to date I see this massive flock of ducks right overhead and yeah so that's pretty much what we're going after trying to help uh thin out the lake trout population so anything between 18 inches which is the bare minimum to legally keep and 23 i'll keep within that slot anything bigger than that is pretty much a trophy fish at least what i would consider one so anything over 23 they're gonna get a pass and they're gonna go back so anyway guys this is gonna be a good day on the water so stick around and see how we do all right so darren what are you thinking it's big old lake 2023 119 <laughs> feet of water oh yeah crystal clear uh, I think it's weird. Yeah. Honestly. Not a lot of ice. It took a long time to finally get this frozen over. Usually by now we're fishing over at the other end. Yeah, and usually only setting two traps. Yeah, so. It's weird. It almost feels like you're getting away with something. <laughs> but. Oh yeah, so we've got some got some fish to catch hopefully we'll get into a few lakers and for real lucky maybe a salmon or two but they're pretty tricky in this lake as you know so all right hopefully we get my traps in the water and we'll see we'll see which ones produce a little bit better today we got uh darren with his heritage you can see right there and then eventually we'll have my varnished. check it out newly varnished should last me forever some of the originals softer style springs Well, we'll have to see. We got all made in main traps, so that's a big plus. Keep it local, local bait, local traps. Absolutely. Support your local businesses, you know, help out the people that help, uh, help keep the sport alive, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna get my jack traps in the water. We're gonna see who gets the first flag. All right, I have one trap in the water already. Darren. Got my first flag. Uh, yeah, we just walked over here. All right. Hopefully, we got a nice laker on the end of it. Or salmon. Yeah. 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 A bigger smelt. up a while. Oh yeah, it's... Anything on it? Took the bait? I think so. Bummer. That sucks. It could be coming toward you. Yep, took the bait. Oh, bummer. Right. Well, they'll get bait on that, and we'll go to set up some other traps out here. All right, well, we couldn't even get my second trap set up. Same flag goes up again. Yeah. It's a big smelt, too, so hopefully whoever has it, it's pretty big. Yeah. I'll watch, it's like a, it's like a six pound yellow perch. Freezing up. Yeah. No, it's moving. Kinda, yeah. Oh 
think so. I saw it twitch. I mean, it's off to the side and up, so I mean. Oh, yeah. Maybe, well, I don't know. I did that Maybe. last time, too, and it was just on bottom. Yeah, that might be it. Maybe he's eating his. Hmm. Just took the bait. Perfect. Feels heavy. Oh, sweet. Lake trout, I bet. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Got a laker. Good one, too. Yeah, he's all right. He'll, he might keep. Come on, buddy. I think if it were that big of a smell, it would probably be a, probably a togue. Yeah. A good size one, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, dude. Not bad. First lake right here. All right. Check that out, everybody. It might be 18. Oh, oh that's... I barely got him. A good hook set. Really 18. Oh, there. Uh, I don't even think he's 18. I'm actually 17. Baddest laker I've seen out of here proportionally so far. From that clip that I put in the beginning of the video. Yeah, that. well, I don't want to keep him out if he's too short. Got that? Yeah. Oh, you're in centimeters. Yeah, 18. No, hold on, hold on. I want to make sure. 18 and a half, 18 and a quarter. Yeah, too, yep. too close for me. I'm going to toss him. Oh, he's over. I'm going to toss him. He's, All just, right, well. he's just too close. We'll get a picture of the first, though. Pretty healthy looking Laker. All right, and we got the release. All right. You wave goodbye. Heck yeah, more to come hopefully. So we'll get that rebated and then hopefully get my traps all in the water. Oh yeah. All right, well, third time's the charm. We just finally got my uh, last jack trap set out. So. I'm on flag number three. All right. Hopefully we got another toga in the end of that one. Uh, salmon. Uh, salmon? No, I want a salmon. Oh yeah. We gotta go for the triple crown. Yep, today. salmon, brookie, perch. <laughs> <laughs> now if we get the trifecta, brook trout, landlocked Atlantic salmon, and toga, we will be solid. You're fishing with antler cuss guide service. So <laughs> it's a possibility. Oh yeah. That might be Alex coming in up there. We'll find out soon. Yeah. Tripped jumbo perch in the end of it. So you're off to the side pretty good. You on there? Oh yeah. I got it. Got him? Perfect. Oh, oh, that's a good one, dude. Better. Better. All right. Yeah, he looks smaller than the other one. Probably the same one. Yeah. <laughs> Try and pin him down so we can get him yep. back in the water quick. Yep. If he's, uh... I think he might be a little bit too small. Oh, hey, holy, 30 inches. Yeah. Just yeah, I don't, I don't know if you'd want to use that one. Come on. Oh yeah, he's over. Yes, what is he? Is he 18, 19? 18, 19. 18, 19, all right. First one on the board for Darren, that's a keep, well, keeper one for the board, so, all right. All right, well, we won't dispatch it on camera, but right there is Darren's Laker. All right, fourth flag of the day for Darren. This one was on a, what, dead sucker? I mean, uh, a sickleback. He called it a sickleback, everybody. Yeah. Soft to the side right there. Oh, yeah. It's way that way. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, guys, watch their fall to state record perch.
Yeah. It's moving. It's moving a little bit off this way. Well, we had stopped and it's running, so you probably have them now. It's a bagel lake. Yep. We're on Sebago Lake, guys. We're in the middle of the bay. This is a great spot. Ice is a couple feet thick. It's probably a castle. Yeah. Yeah, can you imagine? Oh, oh my. Did he? Crushed up uh, sardines, perch? Sardines. Sardines, yep. Albacore. Albacore, yep. All right, well, just we got all the flat traps set out. Not only does Darren get one more flag on this one, he gets another one on that one. So, let's see if this one's running. Oh. Don't see it it's going this way, though. Which, to you? Yep. So probably didn't go after that one and tangle them both up, which is a plus. That one right there's down, isn't it? The one by shore? Yeah. Okay. Anything on this one? Oh, I saw it. Fire today with a Laker bite, man. You should just jig in between the two traps. Yeah. <laughs> you should, honestly. All right, Darren on flag number what? Seven? Seven, eight. You got two? two. <laughs> what the heck? This is a good flag day. Well, for you and Darren. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's more. Oh, it is? Watch, be like a ten incher. Like the fish know that you know the people with jack traps are gonna be the you know supreme fishermen, <laughs> so they avoid the. the water water traps. Traps. It's like yeah, we, 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 well, a couple of them got you over the beginning. That's it. No more. You get your taste. That's it. Well, that's a good one. I think he dropped it. Taking it. Right oh, right. bummer. Oh yeah. He was, he was, All right. He was going for it. Now to go for his two. The flags do not end. All right, first fish. Oh yeah, here we go. We got on video at least. Yeah, I figured you were taking the video. Yeah, I, I, I did get a couple pictures, so I don't think they were. I should really, uh. 
just trip it. Oh, yep. Um, actually, I actually got some like high vis lines. So, uh, oh, like that neon stuff? Yeah, so you can do instructions. Yeah. Now we wait for another one. <laughs> All right, and this is Darren's what? 11. Yeah, 11 flag. This one's actually moving nice. The other one was just creeping. Yeah, look at that. Going off the uh, sketchy ice that way, so. It's probably a salmon. I don't know, there you go. Yes, yeah. I'll try it, it's okay. Yeah, yup, the there he goes. Get it. Got him. Perfect. Any size to it? Ah. Watch, it'll be like some huge salmon. It's got a decent bit of line. Probably a legal size one then. Uh, Pushing. Push yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe 17 ish, I think. Very cookie cutter. Yep. Typical size tow for this particular water. Yeah, I think that one's not legal. Oh no. Yeah, I can tell by looking at it. Really? Yep. Is that with or without your glasses? Both. like that first one I go. Yeah. All right, back down the toe it goes. Boom. Bye. That's what, fish number six? Yep. All right. That is a lot of ducks. He's like, oh, I got. He's like, oh, he's jack traps of varnish, so I got a varnish I my heritage. Massive yellow perch. <laughs> Big white sucker. Yeah. I bet it's brook trout. Yeah. Get a brook trout and a crushed up sucker. I'll just leave. Yeah, I got him. Oh, you got him? Yeah. It's a real big shiner. Head shakes to it? Probably a tug, man. Yeah. See, I can catch him here as long as you're not here with me. That's the stipulation. All right, guys, we got a catfish here. <laughs> hey, look at that hook set, though. Look oh, that's here. nuts. Look at that hook set. Beauty. Look at him. Boom. Yeah. I mean, 
in. I don't think that well. Maybe it's legal. He says stop. Right. Well, don't put that in. Lake on number seven. All right. Seventh lake for Darren. Doesn't even get to keep the meal. What a guy. There he goes. Boom. All right, got another flag over here. Looks like he's probably just, just barely tripped him out. It's off the side a bit. There you go. Oh. No! No! <laughs> no! You got that on camera. Oh, I got that on camera. <laughs> that was probably a, oh. like a 20, solid 23, 24 inch. That was a big toe. First time. Damn. First time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I take back saying I'm going to switch to 4 0 then. You know, I would have played that a little differently if I had actually thought it was a big fish. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. I well I yeah, I would have been down there ready to grab. <sighs> yeah. That's too bad. That was a good one. I, it wasn't on there. It it had dropped the bait and just picked it up as I was like, you know, bring, bringing it, it back. back. Bring it Man. back. Smacked it. Cuz I could feel the bait fish just like, you know, moving, moving. a little bit. Huh. That's not. So yeah, that was probably a solid 23, 24 inch. Oh, yeah, that was bigger than the one I got last week, so. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, did you break that thing? Man. His snout, I think, got caught on the edge of the ice. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It looks like, like when you're trying to bring him up with it is yeah. when it snapped. Yeah. That sucks. I couldn't see how big it was until it was, like, already snapped. That was definitely the yep. biggest fish of the day right Oh, there. easily. Easily. Yeah, that sucks. Well, let's get, we'll have to get a hook on this, see if he'll come back. Yeah, we'll start having to play things, I guess, a little safer and get ready to... Preferably in one of these traps right here, but... Catching too many small we'll fish have to pause out of that lake. and then rewind it so we can look at it. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, that... Hopefully whatever took it's still on. Could be another pickerel. <laughs> I know, no one, every. For the record, he only chiseled like a four inch hole, so of course that Laker was going to look huge, you know? That's true. That, that's a good video hack. We ought to start doing that. Use like six inch holes. Yeah. Oh no, guess what? Good four, four inch ones. Get like fake doll hands to make it look like the fish are absolutely gargantuan. I don't know how long this has been here, but... It could have been up for a bit. I don't think so. I really don't. You got him? Uh, he is on there. Perfect. 
Low one, I bet. Uh, don't know about that. Oh. Uh, Feeling some weight? Yeah, it could be coming through weeds, so. though. Yeah, that's true. Bad well, I mean, weeds right here. You never know. Hopefully, he's got some size to him. Oh, yeah. He got some head bobs to him. Watch, be like some salmon. Is he little? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's not bad, actually. He's a little. Yeah. 17 inch. Yeah, Lake Trout number nine. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm going to need your pliers. Yep. There you go. Take a look at that, everybody. Little Laker. Got him out. Yep. Take a look at that, everybody. Okay. Beautiful little Laker. Classic Maine Togue. All right. Oh, wrong one, You're going to go home, buddy. There he goes. There go. Perfect. Flag number 17. Wow. Burning it up today. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm never going to own a set of jacks. Wow. Oh, I'm hurt. I am hurt. And these are non wind flags. Yeah, the, all the flags today have been fish in the video, so. And this one. You have to do, being side, in. You can clearly see. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Clearly off to the side. There's a fish on It's taut, too, so it's not like it's slack on bottom, so. Yeah, you there, picked up, dropped it, put it in the weeds. Yeah. Seems to be a common thing today. I mean, for anyone who knows the lake, I mean, just looking at it from the video, I mean, this isn't an ideal spot where you'd typically find lake trout. Yeah, Svago Lake, normally we're out in the water. Yeah, so like, if you're in a lake like this, we're in like, what, three feet, three, four feet deep tops? Nothing, just me. Took it, yep. Picked it up and dropped it. Oh, there, there he is. Oh, yeah. And unless it's a big ball of weeds. Could be. I think it's, oh, no, he's on there. I can feel him. Sweet. But yeah, I mean, we're in what, like, four or five feet of water We're tops. in, like, five feet of water. <laughs> and mo most of the traps are in, like, one to two. So it's like, an, an area like this, this time of year, you don't really expect to find lake trout this shallow. So it just goes to show how bad the overpopulation problem for them is in here. Well, that's not bad. That's number 10. Yep. Wow. Nice little laker. Yep. All right. Get them on hook and throw them back. Yep. And go get some deer meat cooking on shore. You got them pliers. Uh, yeah. I can get a picture of them for you. Long and racing. Boom. Yep. I mean, just look at the fish. I mean, you'd think one, I mean, it's not as bad off as some of the larger ones we've caught recently, but I mean, if you look at the side view of it, I mean, it's thin. it's profiles thin. They're not eating good. I mean, they're the primary forage for cold water game fishing here is rainbow smelt, and there's not exactly a lot of them anymore just because these guys are a bit overpopulated. But I don't know if you can tell up here, but the right sunlight conditions you can see right down to bottom. So yeah, he's pretty I mean, thin, as you can see. I mean, the profile is not really what you'd expect for a healthy lake trout. So I'm not really gonna say the spot on camera just because i don't really want to burn it but i mean if you know you know yeah, yeah if you know you know and if you come here and you get a legal lake trout i mean i don't really advocate for killing wild fish but i mean they're overpopulated they need to be thinned out their forage is too depleted so hopefully they don't mess it up with like a bad slot limit for next year yeah i mean the biologist that stopped by was talking about it so i, I would kind of like to see something like moosehead where you can keep you know that one over like one over 23, 23 yeah 23 or longer and then you know and maybe like a few that are like 14 right, or and above. everything else you keep can keep under fill your limit of five yeah because well, a lot of lakes in the state they'll do like either three fish or five fish at the minimum of either 14 or even no minimum length at all but i mean the, the small the small stuff in here are really just depleting the smelt so i mean you're not going to get like larger class fish or healthy looking fish if you don't have their numbers thinned out a little bit we haven't seen any lake trout puke up any anything at all i yeah. caught that one earlier that i would say had somebody else's bait from a previous day yeah i mean the, the one i caught last week i mean it had it coughed up a bunch that 
looked older than when the ice was formed. So, I mean, there's a possibility that one had been eating it. But, I mean, other than that one single lake trout, how many have we caught? Like, what, 20 between all of us so far the past couple weeks? Yeah, probably. And out of those 20, one had smelts. So, I mean, if that gives but, you an idea of, like, and how... Who, and who's to say that wasn't off of somebody's trap the day before? Exactly. So, I mean, that one might not even be eating wild smelt from the lake itself. So, I mean, it's... It's not a good situation when your primary forage is that spread thin. I mean, they're, the biologists have been saying they've been eating smaller bass, perch, which they don't tend to eat unless they're, like, out of... Yeah, like, they have no suckers, there's no smelt. Like, their primary forage is just not there. So, hopefully they're right. Hopefully the slot limit will be changed for uh, next season. Help thin them out and get their overall health back up in order. And, yeah. But in the meantime, really enjoying getting into the numbers, aren't we? Yeah, I was going to say been a fun day. Water oh, yeah. Flags, water, water moving around. All right. Finally got a break from checking that one trap. We yeah. have some all organic main raised whitetail. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shot this year. Yes. Delicious stuff. And we got some yep. Flatlander ciders. <laughs> My favorite beverage of choice. From Vermont. Side. Yep, from Vermont. Citizen Cider, Unified Press. So, not sponsored or anything, but uh, if. If you're one of the guys who made it and you want to sponsor the channel, I'm not going to turn you down, so. Yep, we'll toast to every trout that we catch. So, <laughs> so many anyway, toasts just, for him, none to me. I say, we're just starting out because I'd probably be somewhere in the bait bucket by now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, at the rate we're going, I'd be the one driving him home. <laughs> but. Pretty decent, actually. Oh, yeah. I'm not a big fan of ciders. Yep. Had these back up at UMaine where I first got introduced to them, so. Good old college parties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe, just maybe, my luck is about to turn around. So, took his advice. Stole my bait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Went up to his trap, tripped it, took the bait off it. No, but. Took a dead sucker, a chunk of one. Put it on uh, this trap and hope for the best, so maybe we'll finally get a laker off it. Or a white cat. Either way, I'll be pumped. That's right, guys. So, by the way, when we talk about that, we are not joking. Eventually, that will be up and running. Oh, it's spinning. Yep. If you wanna, it's recording if you wanna. Oh, you're gonna wanna stomp that. Yeah. This is a good job. The sun's starting to set, so. Hang on a sec. Get the. Yeah. Cold fingers, guys. The struggle's real. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a pick roll. I'm, go I'm going to cry. This All is right. like the eighth trap I've watched spring up today. Bust to the other side too. All right, so this is the same one I think. Oh yeah, she's pretty sure this is the same one I caught the uh, other two on last week. So get out. Nice and easy. How does it feel? Okay. It's not big, but. Yeah! Hey! Baker. Look at that, guys. Finally! Got one on the board. Nice! He might stretch out to be 18. No, probably not. Give me the... Oh, there goes the smelt that's attached to it. Get a quick measurement, get a quick picture, and then... Get him sent down the hole. I don't think it really matters at this point. Yeah. I mean, if I'm gonna keep him, then yeah, but... Need some help wrestling him. Yeah. All right. 21 inches, guys. So I, I, I have it off, the phone off. Oh, yeah. I got the GoPro. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so got 21 inches. So typically, like I said, guys, don't keep them. But this is within 18 to 23. So just to help out the population here, I'm going to dispatch him and I'll harvest him and help reduce the overall toad density of the lake. So broke the toad skunk. Today was a success. All right, everybody, so just finally got back to the car. It's pitch black. 
had that one flag out there, but no, nothing came back to hit it. So just a little hit and run, probably a small one that grabbed it and then tried taking off with it. But anyway, guys, today was amazing. I only get, did get one lake trout, but I got to see Darren get like 20 something flags, pulled in like 13, 14 fish. Alex got out here, got into some uh, a couple of pretty good ones, including that one real big one that got lost. So all in all as a group, we did phenomenally well. We got a ton of lake trout, got a ton of flags, had a great day in arguably one of the one areas of the lake where you would never expect lake trout to be. So that gives you an idea of how high the population is. So it was a great time out here. Uh, thanks for uh, watching the video and hopefully coming up, there'll be a few more like it with even more lake trout and hopefully some salmon coming through the ice. So until uh, uh, next time, guys tight lines.